Have you ever been on a train? I have never been on, you know what I have? I have been on trains like when I went to Europe. It was mm. never like a transport train in, world, in the city or anything yeah. like that. I've always just wanted to take a trip. I didn't even just, know that existed. But now we do. I know. <laughs> and that's an option, too. Uh, another option, if you're uh, maybe heading out and about uh, this weekend, is you may need to opt for some rain gear. Because, mm -hmm. unfortunately, uh, some rain chances are increasing. So if you've got some Christmas shopping to get done, get done. today probably would have been the best day to do it. Uh, there are some events going on this weekend as well. Tomorrow, I know a lot of people looking forward to caroling in Jackson Square. Uh, notice the weather outlook, though. 60% rain chance around that time at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Isolated thunderstorm possible temperatures in the middle 60s. So if it was tonight, things would be looking pretty good. We do have some cloud cover, but overall no rainfall expected for your evening plans. Maybe heading out for some dinner, but that outlook will change tomorrow. A lot of rainfall over Texas, a warm front in the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to lift toward the north, move across our area and our rain chances will begin to increase. So again, if you're going out this evening, mostly cloudy skies, a little bit of a breeze though, out of the east, southeast, five to 10 miles per hour. Notice temperatures though, starting to increase as we go through the overnight hours. Usually after sunset, they start to cool down, but with that warm front is actually going to spread some warmer air across the area, and you're gonna notice temperatures increasing as we go towards Sunday morning. So notice we're in the mid 60s to start the day, and then the rain will start to move in as we go late morning into the afternoon and where you get these yellow oranges and reds uh, that's the potential for some heavier rainfall and that's likely to kind of linger for several hours especially across parts of the south shore uh, into south mississippi so that could lead to some localized street flooding we haven't had too much rainfall over the past week but when you have too much at one time it could be a little overwhelming some ponding out on the roadways as well so if you are traveling out and about tomorrow uh, make sure you're using plenty of caution on the roadways heading out to the saints game Game as well. Of course, the weather looking good inside the dome, but if you're heading for some tailgating or after the game, some shower activity likely to linger. Going through the overnight hours as well, still got that shower activity across parts of the South Shore and continuing to develop throughout next week as well. So Monday, looking at some higher rain chances as well as some frontal boundaries just going to kind of be situated over our area, and that's what will allow the rain chances to remain high over the next several days. That warm front lifts through the area. Area. All of the moisture continues to funnel in. Shower activity remains high Sunday going into your Monday as well. And the front's going to kind of linger. And so we'll see shower activity continuing into Tuesday and Wednesday as well. There is a marginal risk for some severe weather possible Sunday and Monday. Be aware of that. Heavy downpours. Again, the severe weather threat, some damaging winds, not out of the question, or an isolated tornado. So make sure you have the WDSU app handy. Anytime there is any severe weather, we send out alerts right there to your phone. Rainfall totals again. We're looking at the potential for two to four inches of rainfall, mainly the heaviest rain Sunday and Monday, but some showers will increase those rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday as well. If the rain kind of sits over one area, these hot totals could be much higher where you get those thunderstorms that just kind of leave or hang around one area. So just be aware of that. Sunday into Monday are going to be the best threat for some possibly severe weather. Looking into the rest of your week, some rain chances remain. Temperature is going to be in the 70s. We welcome the first day of winter on Thursday, which should stay dry with some rain chances returning into next weekend.